Hey friends, welcome back to Homeschoolology. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Nikki. I forgot to turn on my lights. So I'm going to do that real quick. Hey friends, welcome back to Homeschoolology. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom of four. I've currently got an eighth grader, fourth grader, kindergartner, and pre-K. Um, on this channel, I like to talk to you guys mostly about secular homeschooling, also about um, having a larger family, traveling with a larger family, motherhood, our lives in general, things like that. So today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a new um, free resource that I found that we absolutely love, um, and so I'm going to share it with you, and that resource is iCivics. So this is no way sponsored. Um, I just found them um, because we were doing a civics course at our co-op, and I love them, and I want to share them with you because um, I think that it is a super valuable resource. So let's dive in. All right, so um, my friend and I taught an, a civics course at our co-op this past semester, and we started with some interactive notebooking, which was great, but we were looking for ideas for a lesson, and we stumbled across this iCivics website, and let me tell you guys, it is amazing. Like, I can't believe that it's free. Um, there's so much that, is so many different things that it offers. It is designed for like a classroom setting, but it is adaptable to doing it, you know, more independently. Um, and maybe, you know, I think like they considered distance learning in mind because um, there are a lot of like online games and online activities to go along with it as well. So it's not, you know, it's something that's super easily adaptable for either like an individual at home homeschool or a co-op setting um, and the like. Okay, I'm not really sure what happened when I was doing my recording, um, but for some reason the screen recording didn't work but that gives me a chance to try out my new um, toy, which is a microphone that hooks up to my computer. So hopefully this sound quality is a little bit better than the ones that I've used in the past. You guys let me know down in the comments if, if it sounds any better than the one that I have been using just my computer one before. So anyways, back to what we were talking about. This is the iCivics website, so iCivics.com. Um, and this is the main page and I'm going to jump you over to um, so as you can see you can also have a family account um, I haven't used this much because I just signed up for a teacher's account um, because I was teaching and then uh, this is just kind of like a normal home page but in the about section it says I civics reimagines civics education for an American democracy um, it's a foundation for a thriving American democracy I we've really enjoyed using this I felt like it was very um, fair as far as like presenting all sides of things which we didn't cover a lot of that most of what we covered was like history of um, you know the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and how the systems work and all of that but so far everything that I've seen I've been really happy with um, there is a section so if you go here um, teach and then search our library there's a search bar right here that gives you like anything and everything um, you know, all you have to do is type something in and you can search for it um, and it will pop up with the, some different activities for it but um, there is something that I really really liked and really did help us um, you can search for your your state standards here and I I um, played around with this a little bit you can like select your state and and then it'll give you like you know the standards that go with your but that's not super important for a homeschooler but if you're a teacher it's there it's great um, but what was really helpful was the scope and sequence so you can either go to it get to it from that button that I just clicked or also um, from this teach the scope and sequence um, you can see here that they have elementary middle school and high school and then they have Spanish resources as well in case you are Spanish speaking um, but I'm gonna use the middle school scope um, just simply because that's what I'm familiar with that's what I used during our uh, class that we taught uh, but you can see that all of those options are available and because there's a high school option I will definitely be using this with my daughter when we get to revisit this subject um, during her high school uh, projected path, I guess. <laughs> um, but anyways, as you can see, I use it I've used it before, so it's going to pop up to where I was, but uh, this is a guide for teachers, middle school, iCivics, scope and sequence. Here it shows you all the different uh, 
things that it offers. So there's games, there's extension packs, there's lesson plans, mini lessons, web quests, DB quests. So this um, I tried out and it was super cool. It like basically walked me through. Uh, so it was the cover letter to the Constitution that George Washington sent out with the Constitution to get people to sign it um, and agree on it. Or not sign it, but agree on it and pass it. Um, and so the it basically broke down each section of this cover letter and had me like answer a few questions about it and then turn those answers into my own words and then did that for each section. And then at the end, it gave me back all of the things that I had put in and asked me to now combine this into one thought. So to answer one general question, what was the um, topic or what was the cover letter about? And it was really actually very useful. I loved the way that it approached that. It kind of showed you how to break down the process of putting together, you know, a complete, full, thorough answer in your own words. Um, so that was really cool. Something that I definitely think you should try out. We didn't actually use any of the videos. Um, we used everything else here. Well, we didn't use WebQuest either, but you know, it's just a basic web quest. Um, but we used everything else here except for the videos and, of course, the EL um, L because we didn't have any Spanish speakers. But basically, it goes through the foundations of government, like what is government, the sovereign state, who rules, all of that stuff. Um, the influence library we didn't do much on because, again, um, or, well, I guess you don't know this, but um, our co-op is only 12 weeks long, and we don't, we're not even going for the whole week. We're going for one 50-minute class a week. So we only had 12 50-minute class sessions. So we didn't really, like, cover that very much. But um, there are Federalist and Anti-Federalist, and that's actually how we found this website because we were looking for an activity to do for that, and this was the activity that came up, and we loved it. It worked perfectly for what we were trying to do, and then it talks about the road to con the Constitution, and then the Constitution itself, and and you know what it is and what it involves, and then um, then we didn't cover a ton of this in our class again because it was only 12 weeks. Uh, so these are things that I know I'll go back and cover again later with my daughter, but it it really details like all of uh, how the Constitution, all the amendments and everything, how it came to be, then it does uh, concentrate on the three branches of government and what they do and what their role is. Um, we, again, didn't cover this landmark library, but there are tons of cases um, in the Supreme Court uh, and there's many lessons on a ton of them. So I don't know that you would necessarily, I mean, we're still going here. I don't know that you would necessarily um, need to cover every single one of those, but you know, you might need to look through them and see which ones are important to your students and, and discuss some of those. And then it does go into the separation of state um, and local government and, fed, you know, how it's different from the federal government. And then it talks about elections and citizenship and all the things that you need to cover in a civics course. So I loved that it had this all like map out. Let's go back up here a little bit to the top. Another great feature about this document is that I can literally click on the things here and it takes me right to the web page for whatever activity that was. This was a game. We actually assigned this one as homework for our students and it was super fun. Um, this assign button right here, you can click on it to assign it to one of your classes. So you create a title um, and it will make an assignment in iCivics, but what I really love is you can sync it with your Google Classroom. You guys know I'm a big fan of using Google Classroom, love using it, um, and it, you can link it automatically to your Google Classroom. And so that's what we actually did was set up a Google Classroom for our students that were taking our course, and we were able to just link them right in from here. It was super convenient, super easy. Um, we did assign homework since we had such limited time. Uh, but you can see it even tells you that this would be good for high school or middle school. Um, um, and then there is an assessment, and there's vocabulary in it, English um, to Spanish, and then these are just like different um, screen modalities or whatever. This was a super wonderful resource, and again, if you go back here, you can um, just type in, so say you want to do something on the Bill of Rights, you can just type in the Bill of Rights, and it will pull up a bunch of different activities here. Um, so do I have a right, no bill of rights, no deal, um, all these different lesson plans. You can click on them to view them. Cami is this like online 
um, I guess let me show you, show you, um, we actually did, which one did we do? I think we did this one, you've got rights. And so basically, um, what this cami is, is just like, you can download it as a PDF, which is what we did most of the time, but it's just a different software that you can use, and then you can like make edits and, and comments and things in it. Um, so it was a really cool tool. Um, as you can see, I was in here looking at it because <laughs> I'm at the end of this instead of the beginning. But so this was a really cool tool. Like you could actually like fill in, you know, mark things here and, and change it up. I didn't really use that very much. Um, we just did the PDF. I think when I assigned things at homework, it did assign it with this cami. Um, but basically we just, we didn't have them do anything. We just had them read the assignments. Um, usually we just had them read for homework and then we did the, the activities in class together. So, um, but it worked so well. I'm not going to go here, but up here is where you would go into like your, um, your classroom, I guess, for a better lack of, um, but basically, you would go there and set up all the things inside of your classroom. I didn't use that super, super much because I would just link my things that I found straight into um, my Google Classroom, which I like a lot better. Or I, not, not that I like it a lot better. I'm just used to it, and it was easy, and I didn't have to, like, change anything. So that's – that's I use that more. Um, I didn't really use that section too terribly much. But this was such a wonderful resource. There were so many different things that you could do, um, so many different things uh, at this play is like let's see I looked at this before but I don't remember that much but um, I think this was just kind of like all the games that you can play uh, and during an election so it's like really interactive across like you can interact with other teachers and other classrooms that are using this uh, so so that's a nice way if you're doing this at home to kind of make it a little bit more of that um, interactive learning so that was my civics. Uh, I, we really loved it. We, we actually ended up switching almost entirely over to it um, at the end because it was just so easy to use. Um, and so I know I will be using it again uh, at home with my other children um, and with my daughter since it does have high school level um, assignments. I'll be using it again with her when we when we revisit this in a few years. So, so I just thought this is a really great resource. We loved using it. I know I'm going to continue to use it, you know, at home um, with 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 my oldest daughter, but also with my my other kiddos. Um, so I know that this was a great find. That actually, my friend found it, and it was a great find for um, both of us. And I just really wanted to share it with you guys. So if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them down below if I can. Um, and if not, I'll try to help you find it or point you in the right direction. Uh, and while you're down there, I would love it if you subscribe to this channel, ring that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget, you can always um, follow us over on Instagram at homeschoolology. You can DM me over there if you have any questions. And thanks for coming along and chatting with me today. And I hope you'll come back and chat with me again soon. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.